Hey guys, uh, Matt with Kayak Buddies. Today we are on Biscayne Bay launching out of Matheson Hammock. And it's absolutely glass out here today. It's absolutely stunning. Beautiful day. High visibility, water super clear. So we got the Frontier out here with a little bit different rig on it today. Um, changed out the seats on it. Put the 50 on it with the stainless prop. So we're gonna see what kind of performance it gets. Before top end was like 4.9 to 5.1, depending on current. This is a heavy boat and a very wide boat at that. So we're gonna give it a shot, do a little fish and run around a little bit and then uh, see some performance numbers. And we'll see where it takes us. Alright, so we're just gonna kind of put over <clears throat> to see if we can find some trout. Um, a definite improvement with the stainless prop. Let's see if I can get this and show you guys. But um, right now, my max speed between 5.3 and 5.5, max is 5.5, and it's flat out here. So, right off the bat with a prop change. You're looking at, you know, a point, easily a point two to a point four. So we're almost a half a mile an hour faster with the stainless prop. So it certainly gets on it much easier. That's for sure. I don't have to push it hard. So we'll come, we'll play around. We'll see what this thing does. And um, I'm gonna go just kind of cruise around here, find a spot. But uh, what a beautiful day before the rains come in later. And I'm not even stressing my voice out to try to talk to this GoPro. But uh, what a pleasant, you know, push on the Frontier. I mean, yeah, I can wind it out, but I'm saving the gas right now. But that's four, a little over four, like 4.2. I mean, that's awesome. You're probably running half the RPMs. Anyway. People always ask about the noise level. I'm like, man, that's that's four mile, four point three. How can you go wrong with that? I wish I owned that house right there. There'd be a kayak launch in the back. No doubt. See, this is exactly why I love my new canoes. I mean, with the bullnose rudder on the back, I have yet to paddle for the last quarter of a mile. I literally, I mean, look at that nose. That nose barely moves. I just literally give it a little bit of a turn on my, on my uh, bull nose and it straightens itself back out. So basically what I'm doing right now, current's coming in on high tide and I am just coasting and not even worrying about currents right now. I mean, this is, and you can see it, it's ripping here. It's starting to come in, a lot of cross current here coming in, but uh, nonetheless, I never think twice about, you know, what comes next to me, whether it's a bigger boat that just passed or, you know, a three foot wake because of that. But, uh, you know, the fact that I don't have to worry about the nose taking off, that's key. The bull nose is, is excellent on these engines. Even if you run it solo, it should be good. So we'll do some extended footage here. I'll take that. Beautiful day out. Current's still kind of going in, but definitely not rough. There's no wind, not today. Take that one right there. I'll take them all.
That would be funny to get a speeding ticket in a kayak. It'd almost be worth it. So we're still on the cusp before. Once I get past this last bar, I'm gonna run it. Hit some wakes too. I see a big, big boat coming, man. So that'll be fun. So that's the cusp of five. We're right at five, five point two. wide open yet. haven't seen any saltwater crocodiles or anything out here. Usually there's one. All right, we got some weight coming, guys. Here we go. Frontier in action. All of you guys that are chicken shit that won't take your boats out because it's too rough. Well, here you go, guys. And this is boat chop. This isn't like ocean chop. Totally different. These caps are very close together. Ocean waves are much easier to deal with than people with their weight. All right, so I'm gonna give it some gas. Let's see what kind of power, speed we can get out of it. So the Frontier definitely does not have the whole shot that Pursuit does. I'm sure all the large watercraft are gonna be in the same boat. All right, so we are looking at about, we got 5.5, that's obviously with current. The current, as you can tell, is barely moving. So, you know, your range is 5.3 to 5.5 max. I mean, cruising like high fours, it's, it's like kind of a perfect speed for the Frontier, but uh, if you had to get somewhere a little faster, yeah, definitely you can burn the gas and get five and a half. But I would assume with, with another person in this, you'll be in the mid fours all day long. That shouldn't compromise too much speed. I'm mean, a little bit. So I'm doing some tight turns here. The prop, you can hear the torque of the motor. It's not changing. And that's a lot to do with that stainless steel two blade. Most of your engines die off when you crank them hard. You can see I am flipping, I'm getting tighter and tighter here. As brief of it was, it was uh, 5.4. So it's all about the same range, 5.1 to 5.5, but I definitely, you know, I'm averaging 0.2 to 0.4, depending on currents, of course, uh, more power with the stainless. 
throttles all the way up at 100% even on the Frontier, as big as this boat is and as wide as it is, definite improvement. So that's a bonus. And that's with the 50cc Honda. It's definitely at least almost a full mile per hour more with the stainless and the 50. So that makes a world of difference when you're adding more weight. If you have, you know, if you're hunting off of it and you need to carry a little bit more cargo, well, you need the bigger motor and the two blade, no doubt. But it'll handle it. If we drop a deer on this all day long, it'll take it. So we will hit the Everglades next at some point. Check out the back country and see how it performs in the sloughs and the muddy areas. All right, guys, all for now.